All right, to conclude, we want to double check our work. So there is this index.html in the root of this skills2 project, and it has a list of the links, you know, and these are relative links. The dot slash is used to indicate starting at this directory, go down one, two. So that slash tells me to go down one directory into viewport and into variables and such. So if I look at this locally, and I click on this, you can see it allows me to view my work. And so we want, and that should be pushed out, you know, for you. So if I'm out here and I'm ready, I can go to settings and choose master branch. And for me, because I'm using domain DNS, if you're using DMS, you, DNS, you want to check the enforce HTTPS. So if I refresh that, it is publishing to HTTPS when that turns green, and it won't automatically turn green. You have to refresh if you're waiting for green. Then I can open that up, and I can look at these. So this is what, you know, I'll be looking at. So you want to make sure that you get this, you know, you might want to run through all of these really quickly. You know, wouldn't it be nice if this was automated, if you worked in a shop where you were doing this professionally, it probably would be, but you're not, so you have to kind of just walk through all of these to be sure. Otherwise, it's very easy to make little mistakes, it's very detailed work. So that looks good, and you're ready to turn in, you know, this link as well as your code link. So that would be the, the uh, .com link. And then either the github.io link or if you have a DNS, your DNS link. All right, well, that's it for Skills 2. All right, in summary, we've completed the Skills 2. So you're ready to work on Project 2, which is a multi page responsive website. You'll use all of the techniques covered in Skills 2 to create the website. You've now learned many ways to style for layout on any device, with the most recent um, techniques being the display grid and display flex. We find it useful to employ inline block as well. We also continue to use semantic HTML and we've coded a table that is intended to display tabular data. So we know the difference between using tables for layout and using them for data. If you study user science, you'll further appreciate the importance of using the appropriate HTML so that users with disabilities or even users with slow internet or older devices can get the content we're serving. Our goal is always to encourage the user and encourage them to, to interact with our site. Always to engage the user and encourage them to interact with our site. This is done by making the site usable and links readily available, and we've seen one way to do that with fixed positioning. Many of these tutorials are experiments or exercises. In the project, we'll see real use cases for all the techniques that we've learned.